Hi everybody, welcome back to this new episode of The Vault and today we've got a Martin, but a very special Martin. It's when we custom ordered at Martin ourselves. Kuhn and Rudy went over to Pennsylvania to sort out the tone woods for this one. Okay, you guessed it already. It's a Martin limited edition Brazilian rosewood dreadnought. Just check that out. In the winter of 2018, Kuhn and Rudy were invited to pay a visit to the Martin & Co factory in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. While touring the factory, they were shown some breathtaking pieces of Brazilian rosewood and quickly started brainstorming about what could be done with this rare tone wood. They couldn't just leave it lying there, could they? Before revealing what Rudy and Kuhn decided to do with these sets of Brazilian, let's take a step back to give you a bit more of a backstory on this coveted tone wood. To most of you, Brazilian rosewood hardly needs any introduction. Besides its Latin name, Dalbergia nigra, it also bears many other names like Jacaranda, Rio rosewood or Caviuna. This legendary tone wood with an often impressive grain and uniquely resonant rich and deep tonal character was already used in instruments dating back to the late Renaissance and Baroque era when luthiers used it for building the ribs of lutes and various other parts. It also saw many other uses in non-stringed instruments, plenty of furniture and even as a major component of several well-known perfumes like Chanel No. 5. The leaves and wood of the tree yield rosewood oil that was a key ingredient in perfume making, but I digress. Back to the guitars. Martin started using Brazilian rosewood as early as the first part of the 19th century, just after the company was founded. It was not until 1969 that Martin decided to replace Brazilian with Indian rosewood because of the dwindling supplies. Although there were Martins built as late as 1971, which still used Brazilian fretboards, bridges or headplates. In 1992, Dalbergia nigra was officially placed on the CITES list for endangered species and the tone wood got even harder to trade and process. From that time onward, seeing new Brazilian rosewood guitars became a rare occurrence. Now, back to the present day. After a hefty all-American meal and some beer and wine, Rudy and Kuhn came up with the idea of building a very limited run of D28 style dreadnoughts in the vein of the pre-war instruments Martin built. And being Dutch, they had to add their own twist. In many ways, this limited edition run of instruments is a rare opportunity to obtain a D28 dreadnought like they used to build them back in the day. It was based on a real vintage 1942 D28 we had in our vault a while back. To that end, it boasts features like solid Brazilian rosewood back and sides, a solid quadruple A quality Adirondack spruce top and a special shape 1942 style barrel and heel mahogany neck. It has some minor differences with the vintage original though. It forgoes the herringbone top trim and replaces it with a more toned down black and white version. Also the bridge saddle is a drop in specimen instead of the vintage long saddle. All in all, this is a unique limited run of just five instruments which perfectly seem to capture the coveted vintage dreadnought sound so many players long for. However, this guitar still has a distinct character of its own. Now, enough chat, let's finally have a listen to how they sound.
Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video as much as we did, feel free to subscribe to our channel to uh, get some more of these videos in your feed. Don't forget to like and I'm curious to know what you thought about this guitar. Leave a comment down below. Thank you very much and bye bye.